Hey, we're here at Biblin's Cave today. Um, I think it's Biblin's Cave. Biblin's. Um, it's a limestone crag in the southwest of the UK. Never been here before, but I kind of thought I'd come check it out. There's a couple hard boulders, and what's quite important about them is they're very long. So there's a lot of moves, sort of roof climbing, and I want to get back into my sport fitness, into my sport fitness a bit now in sort of the run up to the winter for trying Excalibur out in Arco. So I thought these would be some good lines to come try. Um, couple eight C boulders. So I'll yeah I'll get on and see how it goes. I knew I couldn't keep going this side of the stick. You had this like here, and stuff like that. Is that my neck just alright? Well done. Good. Got his warm up back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the the full line starts down in this sort of cool tufa block. Um and then it's pretty good holds. You move through the roof, not super hard moves. To here, you put in a good knee bar. That lets you get like bump your hand a bit and then you can reach far out to the first bad hold um sort of undercut crimp you walk your feet and then get bicycle sort of toe clamp clamp hard move drop into this undercut which is also not like a massive hold it's a bad edge you then bump up to pretty okay edge but still not the best you walk your feet into another toe hook over here that lets you come to a bad undercut which lets you walk your feet a bit higher into another toe hook and then that lets you get a really bad sloper and then do like the sort of i say the single hardest move which is a big big reach up to this weird spike which is quite slopey and you're more in the pinch rather than any sort of crimp you then bring your left foot round and you have to like claw against this with your toe so lets you flip your right hand to an undercut which this is like really tensiony and hard after doing that move that lets you then walk bring your heel like above your hand and then get like a heel toe bicycle, which lets you come over your head uh, to a really bad sort of flake. Then from there, you have to swap the left hand, which is a really awkward and hard move. But as soon as you swap it, you feel quite strong and it lets you walk your feet round and then you can get a quick shake before doing quite a committing move up to this weird block, um, which is quite an in-cut crimp if you get it in the right place, but it's really hard to get your fingers correct in it because it's such like an odd shape. You then get good heel, bump, bump to like a big flat uh, pinch, and then do a huge jump out to a nice in-cut crimp, uh, which is really easy to miss. Then again, another sort of heel pinch and move, tag, tag to the finishing hold, which is like this big open hand pinch. Match that, and then, yeah, that's where it finishes.
Yeah, come on. Nice, come on. You got this, come on. Yeah. Yes, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Yes, come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. That was a really good session. Really happy with that. Great first day here. Um, sent, I guess, depending if you count all the problems separately or the full link, I sent either one or four problems, I guess. <laughs> Five problems, because I did the other start at the end um, into the midway. Uh, re that was the main thing I was coming for was this left version. So really happy to have sent that. And I kind of like, like I was saying earlier, um, wanted to get back into that sport fitness. And I definitely felt like this was a good problem for that. I was got really tired and sort of pumped on the last couple of goes, like where I came from the right start and dropped right at the top. I feel like with hopefully a bit more training, I'll be able to like, I'll be able to do that. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can get some endurance from today. <laughs>